last month I baked chocolate chip cookies for a friend who needed a lift. Just a few dozen chocolate chip cookies as a kind and considerate gift. But on seeing them fresh from the oven and piled on top of the plate, I found myself starting to wonder what Clovis and Charlemagne ate. And I'm not really sure how it happened. Each thought led me further astray, but one thing led to another, and I cooked my first feast yesterday. I needed some guard for a tourney, for my clothing was looking quite grim. Just a plain simple tunic of cotton, with maybe a snippet of trim. So I went to purchase some broadcloth, sensible, sturdy, and sane. But I passed by a bolt of blue velvet <laughs> that must have been calling my name. And I'm not really sure how it happened. My thought process isn't quite clear, but one thing led to another, and now I'm wearing my new lynch gear. I went to a party at Penzig where they serve lots of tasty brown beer. Imagine my shock and amazement when I found it was brewed by a peer. And it sounded so simple and easy when they told me the steps it required. Just some yeast and some grain and some water and an hour or two on the fire. I'm not really sure how it happened. His early attempts were all flops, but one thing led to another, and now Vikings growing four acres of hops. I bought a drop spindle to play with, and a small hank of Wensleydale wool, and shuttles and spindles and twisters, because fiber arts looked awfully cool. Then I sent off my letter to Santa to ask for a four-harness loom with more pedals than a church organ and could fill my entire front room. And I'm not really sure how it happened. I never thought I'd dive so deep, but one thing led to another. And now I'm raising ten heretic sheep. <laughs> I was called into court by a herald where they gave me a beautiful scroll. The next day I went to the craft store and blew my entire bankroll. I shot for a couple of hours for rinsing calligraphy pens and parchment and pigments and paper and bottles and brushes and then I'm not really sure how it happened. The thought of it leaves me quite faint, but one thing led to another and now I'm using gold leaf and lead paint. I went to my first bardic circle where I heard lots of marvelous songs. I laughed and I listened for hours as I sat with my friends until dawn. Then I purchased a small ukulele and copied down lyrics and chords. I filled up a couple of notebooks to sing for the ladies and lords. And I admit, I know how this happened. It wasn't a false canard, but one thing led to another, and now they call me the Unicorn Bard. I've been playing this game for three decades. My craft supplies fill every nook. My brain is replete with the knowledge from all of those classes I took. And the laurels all say I lack focus. They sidetracked at every turn. Squirrel! <laughs> I should pick just one thing and stick to it. But there's always so much more to learn. And 
I'm not really sure how it happens. Curiosity leads me astray. But when one thing leads to another, I won't let common sense bar my way. <laughs>